1947, baseball was to pause and share a moment with a champion from the past, Babe Ruth. And he had returned to Yankee Stadium to say farewell. Over 50 years old, the glory days gone. There was pain in his body and his, and his voice would, would show it. Comes down from the end that means the boy and their fear of boy and go up to the wild to play ball. Then you come to the boys you see representing themselves today in your national pastime. The only real game I think in the world, baseball. In 1951, two teams come together. The Giants and the Dodgers in a playoff for the pennant. And in the third deciding game, one of baseball's incomparable thrills. A kind of sporting moment that is really without compare. In the last half of the ninth, the score is four to two. Dodgers in the lead. The Giants have two men on. Whitey Lockman at second. On the mound, Ralph Branca. Up at bat, a young man named Bobby Thompson. The first pitch, a strike. The next, Thompson's trap. Brooklyn's sorrow. And this one home run by Bobby Thompson was possibly the highlight of the entire season almost eclipsing the World Series, which followed. And though Thompson may never make the Hall of Fame, the bat he used that day is already on display at Cooperstown. 1951. Joe DiMaggio leaves the game. A rookie named Willie Mays on his way in. In 1953, a great change takes place. Some 50 years of tradition ending as Boston loses the Braves. The Braves from Milwaukee now. With almost two million spectators visiting their new home. This move was the first big one. To market the formal exit of Cornelius McGillicuddy, Mr. Connie Mack, always Mr. Mack to me. He had entered the game in a time of stridency and turmoil. After 50 years of managing in Philadelphia, he left the game universally beloved. There were seemingly angels in Brooklyn in 1955. Some said they could be seen hovering over Ebbets Field. <laughs> a very gross exaggeration. Yet it was a fortunate season, the culmination of a dream, a very American dream. Indeed, the Brooklyn Dodgers in their eighth try, finally winning their first World Series. It was a great team. They deserved to win with the power of Duke Snyder. The speed, daring, and know-how of Jackie Robinson And in 1956, another fantastic dream comes true. The Dodgers and the Yankees faced each other once again. And in the fifth game of the World Series, Yankee pitcher Don Larson achieved what many had felt was impossible in World Series play, the perfect game. 97 pitches, and not a single base gained all afternoon. The memory of Larson's miracle, almost that, remains unique in professional baseball. New York City, lifetime capital of baseball, with three major league teams, but only for one more year.